Right guys, a couple of things here. I'm not going to tell you what that is because that's something else I'm working on. But this bit I've just printed off. See if I can mount one of my action cameras in there. That's a tight fit. Never mind. That's what we want. Fit that in there. Uh, need to trim all this off. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, so I'm not doing it very neatly. about neat at some other time. Bit of fill up the middle there. I suppose I should be a bit careful pulling that out just in case I snap it all off. Shouldn't do. like that right and then we've got the Jeep which I've got to put on a plastic bag because it's been paddling and it's leaking the idea is this should hook over there like that will that go through the window with that in place I don't know through that way. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got an onboard camera mounted in the middle. I'll probably still put some of my blue tack in there to stop it sliding around. I could have made it a bit tighter but I'm happy with that. I don't know how flexible that will be. Whether that will give us a bouncy ride. Well, you're going to get a bouncy ride with this anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, um, that's my Jeep Cherokee action camera mount for in on board. Yeah, looks like we can have it. Actually, if I lift that out, can we move it to the back window? Yes, we can move it right to the back if we want. Or... We can move it to the right to the front if we wanted. Yeah, I think a bit of my normal blue tack stuff in there before we clamp it in place. And that'll hold it nice and steady. This is a bit of a one-off. I don't think there's any point in me giving you the STL file for it. Because unless you happen to have exactly the same Jeep Cherokee, it's not going to be relevant. But we might go and give that a try sometime. 
Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.